Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you about variables, uh, some escape sequences, and I will be showing you a basic calculator that won't want to do addition, but you can apply yourself and make whatever you want. So, let's get started. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing that we did in the first tutorial. We're going to do include IO stream. We're also going to do using namespace std. And we're going to start our, our main function. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest here. Return 0 and ending function. I encourage you to do this because it uh, makes it a lot easier to recognize when you get bigger programs so you don't forget to close this main function off. Now, <coughs> first of all, here's how you uh, you have two different types of data types which are needed to uh, create a variable. Uh, Vista sucks sometimes. But anyway, here's the syntax for a variable. You have a data type, and then you space, you have a variable name. That can be pretty much whatever you want, as long as it starts with a the letters of the alphabet, you can't start with or an underscore, you can't understand you can't start with a uh, number. And then you have the semicolon to close that off. Now you have two different types of, you have a bunch of different types of data types, but there's two different types of data types. There's unsigned and signed. Unsigned is a uh, always zero or positive. It can't ever be negative. And then signed is the, uh, it can be negative, positive, or zero. And if you don't, if you don't specify signed or signed, unsigned, then the data type is automatically recognized as signed. So what we're going to do, we're, we're going to do a sign today. So uh, I'm going to make you a basic calculator here. And to start off, we're going to create our first variable. We're going to have our first number variable, which is going to be double D. And I'm just going to put first. You can do whatever you want but that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to have double D second. Oops, that's okay. No, that's not okay. Now that we have our variables declared, we can uh, start our basic output. And I'm going to put C out. You guys already know what this means, so I'm not going to go over it. Uh, Please enter the first number you would like to, you would like to add. Okay. Oops. No. No. Do C N. first. Now here we're inputting the number the, the user enters and it's going to save it into this which is what a variable does. And uh, after this what we're going to do is I'm going to do C out please enter the second Alright, now here I'm, I'm going to do an escape function for you guys. Now you have this slash, backslash, and then in. 
and what that does is it starts it, it spaces on it's a it's just line spacer since you can't put end l after this uh, I'm going to space this so it'll be more neat when we run the program and there's other escape functions I'll try to make a chart for you guys and upload it to my website but <coughs> excuse me for this right now this is what we're going to use and now I'm going to see input d second which takes the second number the user inputs and saves it in here to be used later on okay now we're going to get to the math part fun stuff I'm going to C out, and then I'm going to do another one of those escape sequences, and I'm going to say the total of the two numbers you entered is, and then I'm going to have D first. Then I'm going to put a oops, plus d second. I'm going to have a equal sign here, and then I'm going to have in parentheses. This is where it actually does the math. You can do the math up up at the top, but I'm just going to do it all at once. And what we do is D first, first, and then plus D second. Okay. A couple indels. And then now. I'm going to put a system pause. And I'll show you a couple other system functions here in just a second. But here we go. So this is our basic calculator. This should work. So I'm going to compile it to find out. Once again, we're going to debug, start without debugging, or it's control F5. And it says I have builders. Oh, I forgot that. 